I want everybody to know how proud um, we are to be up here with TUA today and certainly thank you all for coming, uh, showing interest in TUA and, you know, our program here at Alabama. Uh, you know, TUA has probably had as much of an impact on our program here um, as any player that we've ever had. And I'm not just talking about as a football player. Uh, he's got great character. Uh, he's a great leader. He's done a wonderful job in the classroom. Uh, there's a spirit about him that has impacted myself and everybody around him in a very, very positive way. Um, he's had great accomplishments on the field, uh, but uh, you probably don't really fully understand the significance of uh, the contributions that he's made off the field with his teammates uh, and the people who are around him every day. Uh, an unbelievable positive spirit. Uh, he's helped us, um, you know, continue the streak uh, to nine of 11 win seasons. Uh, he's won a national championship here uh, with his performance. He's won an SEC championship. Um, and this will, he's also helped us uh, to extend the streak of um, being in the top 10 to 12 seasons. Uh, and I don't think uh, his contribution is not appreciated uh, because it's been outstanding. Uh, he's on course to graduate. Um, I think he needs like 17 credits or something like that to graduate. Um, I don't think he's ever been in my office one time the whole time he's been here uh, for anything but uh, something that's positive in terms of helping him or, you know, helping the rest of our program. Uh, I know this has been a very difficult decision for him and his family. Uh, our role in that is not to make a decision, but only to provide all the information that we can, uh, whether it's physical, medical, um, spiritual, and every way that we can, you know, to help uh, our, any of our players, you know, make their decision. And I know some of the guys have announced on social media um, what they're going to do. There will probably be a couple other, a couple other announcements forthcoming, uh, but I think it's um, fitting that a guy that has had such an impact, you know, on our program, on college football, um, that we have a press conference here today. And with that, I'll turn it over to Tua, and he can announce his decision. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming today. Um, I've had a difficult time making this decision about my future. Um, but first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for this opportunity uh, to stand before you all with my decision. Um, my love for the University of Alabama, our coaches, our fans, um, and, um, and my teammates has made this especially hard for me. I have had the advice and counsel of my parents, my family, and coaches in going through a, a thorough analysis of the, uh, of the alternatives. And without further ado, uh, with lots of prayers, thoughts, um, and guidance, I have decided that I will be declaring and entering the 2020 NFL Draft. Uh, my three years at the University of Alabama have been the epitome of a roller coaster. I've had a fair share of ups, um, of many ups and a handful of downs, and I couldn't be happier to know that with all the success and failures I've had here at the university, um, it has prepared me for life in general. I can't express how grateful I am to have attended the greatest school in college. But the biggest thing I remember with my time here are the memories that I've made with all my friends, family, and loved ones. I want to honor um, and thank Coach Saban for allowing me the chance to play for him. I'm forever grateful that I not only got to build a great relationship with someone like him, but I also got to play for him. I'd like to thank Coach Sark and our entire coaching staff for helping me enhance my skills this year. And I'd like to thank Jeff Allen and his athletic training staff for the first class treatment they've given and shown me and my family. I'd like to uh, thank Josh Maxson and his crew for helping me build my brand here. And to all those behind the scenes that don't get enough credit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I'd like to extend my appreciation also to John Deaver and our academic advisors for the help and support they've given me. And to our AD, Greg Byrne, thank you for the many talks we've had and for the tremendous support you've given me. To my teammates, thank you for the lifetime worth of memories and lessons. Thank you for the laughs the love and all the hard work uh, that came with helping me shape me to be who I am today. I'm going to miss you all from the starting lineup to the scout team. To Bama Nation, I'd just like to thank you all for a tremendous three years of support, 
um, that you've given me and my family, and thank you for taking our family in as your own. To my parents, thank you for giving me um, everything. Thank you for everything, and thank you guys for instilling everything you had in me, and thank you for your continuous love, uh, support, and especially prayers. I'd like to thank my family and everyone who's been involved in this process. Uh, like I've heard my parents say many times, uh, it takes a village to raise a child, so thank you all. As I wrap things up, there will still be a Tongue of Ailoa here playing football, and it's my little brother, Talia. Um, and I plan to stay close to the university and always be a part of the Alabama family. So I'd like to leave you all with this from one of my favorite Tim McGraw songs. When you get where you're going, don't forget to turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. Thank you all so, so much. God bless and road tide. Uh, congratulations, Tua. And what's the what's the next step for you now in terms of rehab, in terms of meeting with teams? Have, have you thought that out yet? Yeah. Well, I, I'm just focusing on my rehab um, as far as now, um, with with all the teams, and you know, deciding if I'm going to do anything physically. You know, we'll decide that with you know our athletic training staff and then you know with what the doctors have to say about that are you going to stay here to rehab at least for the foreseeable future yeah yes yes Up front here with Chris. was there one thing that was the deciding factor in this decision um i mean no it, it was just a hard decision all around um just taking into consideration the pros and cons for both both sides of the situation and you know, of the decision. And, uh, you know, I, I got to see guidance from my, my family. Um, we prayed a lot about it, you know, and this is, this, this is a decision that I'm going to have to live with, you know, and so I made it, and, I mean, I'm, I'm good with it. To it, you went to New York this weekend to kind of get uh, an evaluation. What, what you, kind of feedback did you hear from doctors there, and, and what did that kind of tell you about the foreseeable future? Well, I don't think any of the doctors can tell, you know, the foreseeable future. None of the guys rehabbing me can tell that. Um, you know, from what they've seen, you know, in, in New York, you know, everything looks good. But you can't really tell until the three-month mark or the four-month mark, you know. So that's, that's the gauge on, on all that. Another feedback question. What What... Did you hear from NFL types, NFL teams, executives, scouts, whatever, about because it's kind of a, a unique situation to be in? Yeah, it's a unique situation for sure. Um, you know, with 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 my hip, I mean, a lot of the the, the guys, you know, the general managers, the owners that I've I've got to talk to, kind of said the same thing. They they kind of look at this injury as like a knee injury almost, although it's not. Um, you know, in a way that, okay, are we going to take a chance on this guy or would he be able to, you know, possibly do a pro day before, you know, before the draft and whatnot. And really the biggest thing they want to do is just see that we can, you know, move and we can just be back to how we were playing prior to the injury. How much, if at all, did you get to talk to, you know, the fellow juniors in your class and, and, you know, what, what, did, what did you say to them? Yeah, I mean, we, we all got to talk. A lot of their decisions were based off, you know, whether they played good in this past game or not. But, I mean, we, we, all, we all pretty much knew what everyone was going to do kind of prior to the game. Um, but it, it, it wasn't set. And, I mean, you know, they, they don't – a lot of guys in my class, they, we don't have to share any of that information, you know, but – I mean, a lot of them, a lot of them have made their decisions pretty clear, you know, up to this point. So. In the middle with Michael. Now that now that you've uh, you're leaving, what are your thoughts on the uh, the quarterback competition that'll be coming in the in the fall? Yeah, it, it'll be good. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. They, they they got another guy coming in, Bryce Young. 
you know, he looked really good at, at his All-American game. Um, I mean, if you love competition, you know, now's the best time for it, you know, for Mac Jones, for my little brother, and for that uh, Bryce Young, the incoming freshman. So, Tui, you talked about the uh, decision and the announcement, but now this is where you motivate, you challenge yourself, you test your heart. How uh, gratifying is it now to be on your shoulders to make or break the next step? Well, you know, these kind of things don't really take the doctors. They don't really take myself. It it pretty much boils down to one thing, and I think that's faith. You know, it boils down to that. And coming from a family that has a lot of it, you know, I'm I'm, I'm definitely willing to take that challenge. Back here with Jake. Tua, was the supplemental draft in the summer part of your consideration process? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, if if that was part of my my process, I probably would have just said I was going to stay here at the University of Alabama. So it wasn't it wasn't really a thought. Tua, first off, congratulations on the incredible career. Thank you. Um, could you explain more how faith went into this decision that you decided to make? Yeah, well, you know, we seek guidance from you know a good amount of pastors. Um, you know, my dad is really good friends with Pastor Chris, Church of the Highlands. Um, I got to seek. Um, Council from you know our pastors back home, and then also um, Pastor Perry Stone. So, I mean, you know they they pretty much all had the same thing, you know, to follow your heart. And then they also had, you know, stories to kind of align with what they were trying to share with me too. So, we're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN Plus. We'll see you there.